I'm here to tell you about Contra Costa College Physics 101. We are so excited about this course and offering this course. It is two unit course. It's pass no pass for everyone. It's up to you to get value out of that. Uh, you will pass. It will, your GPA will not take a hit. In fact, your GPA is going to go up significantly after you take this course. It'll either be taught sometimes hybrid, meaning we'll meet two hours a week for eight weeks, an eight-week course, short term, or online. In the summer, it will be a six-week course, either of those formats will work just fine for this course. This course is for both the life and the physical science physics. Life, if you're going into pre-med, biology, nursing, and you need to take physics courses with algebra and trigonometry, physical science, engineering, you need uh, physics with calculus series at Contra Costa College. This is Physics 120 and 121. This is Physics 130, 230, and 231, and uh, pretty standard elsewhere. This course is a preparation for these courses or a companion. The ideal approach is to take it before you've taken your physics courses, before you're taking it, the semester before, um, or the summer before is ideal. Um, however, it can be taken with the first semester course. Um, and you'll just have to work, make, make sure you've got time and it will support that. But really the ideal is this way. It might be required and will be required at Contra Costa College. And uh, it might be a requirement because truthfully, we don't like beating people up in the physics courses. They are hard, they're challenging. There's a lot of different ways of thinking, a lot of skills you have to employ. And even if you've taken high school physics, it's usually quite hard. Maybe if you've uh, aced uh, AP physics in high school, then, then you can be fine. But uh, it generally is very hard. And many people change their life path because of these physics courses don't change your life path because of physics courses. If you want to do engineering, robotics, computer science, uh, uh, medicine, what, biology, whatever it is, don't let physics get in your way. And in fact, learn it to be a powerful and enjoyable tool. And so we need a ramp. That's what this course is. It's a ramp. Okay. So it might be required. What you need for this course, and we've taken away prerequisites because they create problems, you need algebra and you need basic trigonometry, sine, cosine, tangent, inverse tangent, Pythagorean theorem. Okay, If you've got calculus, there's a small chapter employing that, but all you need are, are these things. You do not need high school physics. It's not required. In fact, many, many folks want to go into these majors and maybe they decide later on down the road, hey, I want to be an engineer. I, I like working on my car. I like working with my hands. I want to be a doctor. I want to help people. I want, you know, whatever it is. And you didn't take high school physics. That's fine. Even if you did, it's very difficult to teach high school physics in a way that prepares you for college physics. So this course will prepare you. Even if you've had that, even if you feel strong, you can be stronger. And when you go into your physics courses strong and you do well, then the next course will make more sense than upper division engineering or upper division physiology and anatomy. Upper division courses will make more sense because you've created a solid foundation. And that's what we're committed to doing here is giving you a solid ramp to really develop your skills. We can do our part. You've got to do your part. So let's take a look at what we do. The magic of the spinning whiteboard, rotational motion. Here we go. Contra Costa College Physics 101. The objective, do well in physics. Not just pass it. Maybe you're going to take the MCAT for med school. 
you will do really well on a section that often is quite difficult for, for students. The text is your physics coach. It trains physics. It's written by me, John Anthony Celestia. Um, it's published by Kendall Hunt. Perhaps I should have written that, but Kendall Hunt. And uh, rather than presenting physics, throwing it at you, this is a training. It's developed to evolve your skills, your awareness, your understanding. And there are some techniques, some notations, explanations that are very unique and very powerful. This incorporates um, decades of working with students and refining the approach. If you read and work the exercises, there are solutions in there at the end of every chapter, um, one to two sections every day for eight weeks, and uh, in the summer, six weeks, so maybe that'll still get you very far. I promise you will be incredibly well prepared for your physics courses. Now, physics courses are going to take time. They're time consuming, they're demanding, they're challenging. But when something is demanding and challenging, you meet the challenge, you grow. And by becoming stronger, you're more capable, you open more doors, more opportunities, and it's a, it's a wonderful thing. And we need you out there to contribute because you know all the benefits of applied science and science uh, fields and the people that work in them. So we do need you out there and we need you to, to go out there strong and to contribute. So what are we gonna talk about? Topics include skills. So there are skills like problem solving. There's a very particular way to apply problem solving skills. And if you really train it and ramp your way up and keep trying and keep trying and keep trying, you will get so much better. Very, very powerful. Often there's no time in a physics class to do all this. Not like your physics professor doesn't want to teach this to you, but your physics professor does not have time to do all that you need to do. We just can't. And it's frustrating for both of us, right? Um, skills of math. So algebra, you may think, oh, I'm good at algebra. When you start throwing in a lot of different symbols that mean a lot of different things and they have a lot of subscripts and all this stuff, it starts looking crazy. You'll be comfortable with that. In fact, you'll be comfortable taking the principles of physics, looking at a situation, taking the basic general form and make it fit that situation using good notation, doing algebra, interpreting graphs, reading graphs. You'll be so strong at reading graphs and applying trigonometry, like for vectors. We will cover vectors and you will be comfortable with vectors. If you go into a physics class and you're comfortable with vectors, boy, do you have an advantage. So that's great. Thinking physics is a training. How do you think about physics? When you do a problem, sometimes you just do a problem, you get a number, you calculate, you make a calculation, and you just you just get a number. Boy, what does that mean? Is it reasonable? And sometimes physics professors will throw out numbers that are unreasonable, and they want you to say, hey, that's not reasonable. I can't speed a uh, light. doesn't take two hours to, to get from here across the room or two weeks to get from San Francisco to Seattle or that's just crazy. So you want to think about physics. How much is it? Is it reasonable? How much force? How fast? Uh, units. So we'll talk about units. Uh, most of the world uses kilometers per hour for speed. We use miles per hour here. You can talk about meters per second, which we'll talk about. Meter per second is about two miles an hour, 2.2 is closer. So getting, training to think this way and always including units, developing habits, feeling comfortable. Not just like, oh yeah, I, I, I've seen that before, I sort of, no. You can on paper do it quickly, convert it quickly. Complicated stuff, things that look complicated, you can do it quickly on paper. Measurement and uncertainty, there's an appendix. And boy, will that help you in your first lab and, and as you go on. You'll have a good, clear understanding of the terminology um, through a nice graphic that is, uh, again, unusual. And subtle concepts of motion and force. Uh, mass is 
almost always defined incorrectly. It is not the amount of matter, right? Acceleration is confusing to most people. So there's nothing wrong with you or anybody else when they get confused by acceleration and velocity and speed and distance versus displacement. Those are different things. And an instant versus an interval of time. So we'll learn, we'll take the time to do it right. So when you get into the class, you've got it. Um, doing physics, you will be doing physics. And the focus for this book is the study of motion, kinematics analysis, a way to analyze motion, predict what will happen, or if something happened, deduce what happened in the past, or force analysis, incorporating Newton's laws, which you may have heard, and be careful because often they're uh, misstated and it can be quite confusing. We will clear that up. If you have that intuition, great. We will ramp it up from the simple stuff that's very transparent, solutions in the back, up to the hard stuff. And even if you haven't mastered the hard stuff by the time you're done with this course, you will be so well prepared. Do realize that when you get into your physics course, you'll still have to put in time, but help others. And as you help others, you will be helping yourself because you will be solidifying this information. So I highly encourage you to take this course I need you to trust me because I'm making a promise to you. If you do this and you work this and you work it and you struggle through it and you grind through it and you push and you put the time in and you say, I'm making a commitment. I'm going to make a commitment daily. Daily makes a difference in our learning. Daily makes a huge difference in our learning. Whenever I do daily guitar, I advance. When I don't, I don't. And I can not do that for years, so uh, some of you know what I'm talking about there. So again, I encourage you to consider this class as a way of saving time, a way of earning money, a way of opening doors to a life that you can envision and exploring what possibilities there are. Physics 101. Look forward to seeing you there.